Peace and greetings everyone, Divine Zeal here once again with another video. Uh, this is going to be a very quick uh, general tutorial, but very important. Um, I have a lot of different electronics projects on my GitHub, which, is, which you should check out. Um, but a lot of people probably don't know um, really what PCBs are, which is a printed circuit board. So uh, you take a regular breadboard design. So you start with a breadboard and um, you configure your circuits. And then uh, like with this five gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi deauthor, you put it on a proto board is what they call these green boards. And then you um, do your design with some wires. You can kind of see the wires in there. But what if, you know, you want to make various different versions or um, you might not be that good at soldering with the wires. Um, so next you can uh, go to my GitHub and find one of my uh, projects. Uh, this is the Cypher Box, um, which I'm going to make a proper release uh, probably within a day or so. Um, so you can get all the information and details, what this does. Um, but you can find the hardware files there and then you can go to PCB way <clears throat> and I have a link so you can get a nice little discount on your first order. And I'm going to show you how to order the PCB super easy, super quick. Um, it's not that hard if you can order things on Amazon, <laughs> you know, AliExpress, um, what have you, then you can definitely order something on PCB way. Here's another uh, design <laughs> as well. This is the uh, 433 megahertz uh, jammer. And yeah, you just uh, have the PCB nicely printed so there's no wires. Um, here I did a little custom modification so I added my own wire uh, to my board but it allows you to just really quickly uh, put something together and start testing. Okay, so this is PCBWay.com. Uh, but first, first, let's say you want to download one of my projects. So you're going to come to my GitHub. This is the URL. And let's say you wanted to print out uh, one of my latest projects, the Cypher Box. So you just uh, click on the project here. And then all my projects are pretty similar structure. So you're going to go to the hardware folder. And then it's very similar to this folder. This is all it has. It has the schematics. So every project I open source, it has the schematics. So you could see um, exactly what's going on. And then you could see how the PCB is gonna look as well. So you got the front and the bottom. And this is the important file you're going to need, uh, this Gerber file. So here you have a uh, Gerber uh, Cypherbox dot zip very simply you're going to go here to pcb way and you can do uh, quite a lot here at pcb way um, here's all the capabilities they have um, so you can do obviously pcbs flexible pcbs aluminum um, you can also do 3d printing pcb assembly and that's uh, where they um, can source the parts and have it all done for you you pay a little bit more but um, they do it completely professionally and you don't have to solder anything. Um, so pretty much anything you could probably think of. They have online tools, um, keycad plugins, online 3D viewer. Um, they have pretty much everything. So for here, uh, let's say you want to uh, just get a quick quote. You can just enter in uh, any dimensions here. And then you just choose uh, the amounts you want. And as you can see here, uh, 10 pieces, <clears throat> one to two layers, uh, $5 or $30 uh, assembly. And I will have some uh, really cool assembly projects coming soon. Uh, so there's two ways you can either um, enter in the information or you could just click here, quick order PCB. So we're going to click here. And what that does is now all you have to do is add a Gerber file. And they also have a tutorial as well um, if you want to just have a quick uh, overview of what you need to do. 
Um, but it's pretty straightforward. This might look kind of confusing, but there's only a few things you need to edit. Um, so right here, you're just going to click Add Gerber File. And then you're just going to select that uh, Gerber file in the project. And then it does all the dimensions for you automatically. Um, so at first, you know, you just enter, you can enter in any random dimensions. Um, but then whenever you upload the Gerber file, it will automatically uh, do the dimensions uh, for you and let you know that it was successful. Um, so you're just going to have uh, single pieces and um, just one panel design, but you can have uh, different uh, designs as well for one order. And then here you select how many pieces you want. And you're going to do two layers is uh, pretty uh, standard, but if you're doing a more advanced PCB, there are more layers you can do as well. And um, they have tool tips here too, which is really helpful. Um, so for every single detail, you can look up and then you could research more um, if you need that. But um, you're just going to keep everything pretty default here at the solder mask. Um, you can change the color. So here I have purple, um, but you know, you can get different colors as well. Um, a few different ones like purple and matte black and all that <clears throat> a little bit more expensive or you could just have it uh, default, but I think green, red, you know, yellow, blue, uh, black, those are all, um, the standard price. So you're just going to keep scrolling down. Um, the silk screen is the lettering on there. So if you want to change that to go with your um, solder mask. And then here, uh, another setting that you might want to change is removing the product number. Um, so if you don't want to have <clears throat> any extra manufacturing uh, details, you can remove that. And then here as well, you can have uh, some customized options. So you really could get into the nitty gritty of how you want your PCB done. So once you're all done, um, if you don't need assembly, um, you'll see the uh, order total right here. And you can um, very quickly, you know, change which shipping you want. Um, and then if you want it extra urgent on certain orders too, um, you could get it there even faster. Like for assembly, um, I had an expedited order and it probably took um, <clears throat> about a, a week and a half, maybe, maybe less, um, super fast. And the shipping was like three days. So then you're going to click uh, save the cart. And because you already uploaded your Gerber file, um, you'll be good to go. And then you can see um, all the details. So here you can see uh, what you ordered and then they're very good um, with the uh, production and all that. And then you have a service rep as well if you need any help or need any updates. Um, and then they send you pictures and stuff uh, once everything's done just to make sure uh, it's exactly how you want. So that's pretty much it. Um, that's how you can just easily make a PCB and um, through PCB way and using my link, you could save uh, you know some money and really just get a lot more hands on. It's nice to first test things out with the breadboard and then the proto board, but especially if you're using this stuff out in the field, um, you can't have a breadboard and um, the proto board unless you use tons of uh, you know hot hot glue and all that stuff. Um, it's it's just not going to be the best performance. And especially like when you're talking about um, electronics and electronic engineering, this is just really the smartest way um, to get things done. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, let me know if you need any help. Uh, be here to help you. Uh, peace.